Good evening guys and welcome to the journey of cow number 68. I'm going to take you through how she was four weeks ago in prep for her recheck this week. This cow right here. Around. Can you guys see how swollen that back beef is? Watch her walk. Let's get her in and let's see if we can find out what's wrong with her. So we've got to walk these girls down through the parlour, slightly different parlour to what people would normally see, and they've got to go around a corner into my chute. And it's never normally that easy to get them in. Good girl, go on. Through we go. She is in. I'm gonna get another cow in behind. And then I can jump in and trim her with Will. Because obviously I'm not trimming because of my hand. But let's get back, let's see if there is anything wrong with that fur. I reckon she's probably at least been trimmed by the farmer. She looks like she's been looked at just from how she's walking. And more than likely, I would say she's probably lost her shoe. Uh, if only he was using Bobby Bond. Right, let's jump on in and let's see how that hoof is doing. So normally when we lift these girls up, we have to do extensive work to find an issue. And you guys are about to see how little work we need to do to see a problem in this girl's hoof. Huge or one big? She ain't going to be able to block it because she's got an ulcer there as well. Uh... So we play, let's see what's in there. <laughs> right. I don't want that to be an ulcer. No, if that's an ulcer, we're a little bit screwed. Yeah. She's some, she's some softer. Stand still. Ooh, we might be in that. Oh, I don't think. Trim it, see what happens. Tricky, isn't it? You've got a plan. Have we got any rubber ones at all? Black probably rubber ones? Yeah. No. Gotcha. Now those things are scary after I saw what you did last time on them was. Well, I'm thinking cutting it there and this bit on her toe there. Can ask for you can't put anything down there, can you? Well, if you can put anything down to. there, she's going to push up that heel back in. Yeah, but it'll get it all off the ground. So I put it there. So Getting these horse shoe blocks to get on these feet are never the easiest. You'll very, very rarely see me touch a wall with a grinder. But to get these blocks to stick, we've got to get all the bits of dirt off of this. Uh, yeah. yeah. You're filling that one up. We need the best glue contact with our bond bond as possible. So we've got to clean up those walls, make sure these shoes stick because we do not want one of these shoes coming off. Because we need these shoes on for these girls to heal up and be as comfortable as possible. Because as you can see, this is a really serious issue. That right there is what you call stupid for people watching. You literally had to take your glove off to get it off. Yeah. <laughs> and this is where we've got to become super delicate. We have to slowly trim away all the little bits of detached horn while trying everything we can to not touch this sole ulcer because that is going to cause her issues that we don't really need to be doing. So we're going to keep spraying her up 
and remove as much loose sawn as we can. But there isn't a huge amount we can do for this girl at this stage, other than relieve the pressure. That bruiser looks like the old red stuff, but it's just bruising. That's also. All loose, isn't it? Oh. Really? That's all live. Is that loose? Oh, no, that's part of the ulcer, I think. I don't want to cut that. I think yeah, that's okay. part of the ulcer. Takes time, innit? End the day. Mhm. Mm that's uh, yeah. But usually I would. I don't know what I'd have done if you weren't here with this sort of cow, to be honest. See if you can tuck a little bit. If you catch me a bandage, see if you can tuck a little bit more. That was slick in the matter. Can we hold it? Yeah. Right at the top of it. Yeah. And that's a wrap for that trim. Also, she's going to get a wrap, but there's not a huge amount we can actually show you of this trim because there's not a huge amount we've really done. We've put a shoe on her, we've assessed her, we've removed tiny little bits of loose horn that were detached but there really wasn't loads we could do other than relieve the pressure and wrap her with a bandage to keep that issue nice and clean and give it plenty of time to heal and recover this girl would have been put on pain relief and she already was on pain relief so she is Good to go. Fingers crossed we're going to see her walk out of this shoot looking much, much better. And when we see her again, I'm doing a little re-edit today, but should be seeing her in two days' time. So when we see her again, hopefully you guys are going to see a vastly improved cow. She's pitching on it. To be fair, she, she's walking out a lot better. Yeah. I'll put the next one in too if you want a trimmer. Fingers crossed. She's going to be on a bit of a road to recovery. Drop a comment down below if you guys want to see this trim. When we recheck her. Hopefully in about four, five weeks. Let me know.